We were in a meeting like this and the Lord spoke to me and said, there is a lady in this meeting that the mother was barren and she went to the water spirits for conception. And that is how she was conceived. That I need to conduct deliverance for her. I said this kind of word of knowledge is not a good one. So I avoided it. It came strong. You will not believe that when I gave that word, a young lady came up. I said, how do you know of this? She said, it's not news. And she told me her experiences. Then I now told her that Satan does not create babies. You know, when somebody develops a product, he puts a patent on it. It's because the, the intelligence that he used to get the product is available. Somebody can copy it and produce even something that is better. But he, he safeguards the product with a patent. Humankind is a creation that has God's patent on it. So even if it's mommy water, they went to knock on the door and dance naked. Hey, whoa, whoa, whoa. Hey, whoa, whoa, whoa. Hey, whoa, whoa, whoa. Hey, whoa, whoa, whoa. Yeah, no. <laughs> Only God can be children. I had to convince her first before we started our prayer. Do you know when we casted out those devils, that lady is in God's service. It's so vibrant. I know you can't understand that. It's com confusing. It's confusing to me too. There are many ways people out there get things done. But we that are separated unto God, we have only one way by which our own things are done. Because we are separated unto God. And this is the expectation that God has when we come into time that will not just become intelligent and begin to explore options but we will decide by an act of our will that we are separated unto him. And when you become separate unto God a lot of people will feel that you are slow. You are not sharp enough. You are not smart enough. That there are various opportunities. But the fact that the opportunities doesn't mean that you can subscribe to them. You can only subscribe to the opportunities that are within the scope of the principle of righteousness, which is the nature of the one unto whom you've been separate. Are you there? So for a man that wants to walk in holiness, the options are not many. What will determine his civilization and the things that derive from God? Do you get that? But you see, even, even holiness has an operating system. He said, according as he has chosen us in him, before the foundation of the world, that we should be holy and without blame before him. How? Love is the only motivation that will ensure that you perpetually and continually offer yourself to God. Because your position will be challenged every day by, by numerous assortments of alternatives and opportunities and options. The reason why you continue walking in holiness is because there is a foundation of love that has been built between you and him through intimacy. And on the strength of that foundation of love, it is unreasonable for you to try to break faith with him because of the magnitude of the reality of intimacy and love and affection that has built over time. So a man that does not love God cannot walk in holiness. You know, these are the days where holiness is a formula. You can do the mechanical holiness. The one that is outward and external. That one that speaks to the world but there is no, it's not secretly in alignment. You can do that type. If you don't love God. You can do that type. In order for you to conform with human expectations. But actual separation unto God. Is an organic reality. That is so strong. So powerful. And the only motivation. That can move you that far. And can make you sacrifice that much. Is that you have. A bond of love with God. So what the Bible says. Let him kiss me. With the kisses of his mouth. 
father if you are a husband you must labor to understand to implement that policy the way i'm seeing all of you husband the way i'm seeing you people looking rugged today <laughs> i am <t> <laughs> the the sisters are, they, are, they are encouraging me to continue <laughs> So you see, there's an aspect of intimacy that is affectionate. When you begin to press into God, you begin to feel Him. God is not plastic. I was just listening to a testimony of someone that uh, was uh, among our cousins and that came to the other side. And in the testimony, the person did all the religious rituals needed for the reality of the deity that she had worshipped so faithfully to appear unto her and it never happened you know why there is no such reality and there wasn't and that was why and how she broke covenant with that way of life went into the wilderness of philosophy for a long time and then without the presence of a preacher it was a song of Lenino Blanc that she liked she only discovered that the aspect of what's that song again hey i've forgotten it do you know any of his song it's a common song ah oh my god sorry those days, my brain was sharper than this. Those days, when I, it was just yesterday night, I was. It's one of our golden songs. Though. So she fell in love with the song, but there's an aspect of the song that has to do with Jesus. She now realized that she could not say Jesus. No preacher, no evangelist. Too. She just realized that. In trying to sing that song, something, something, Jesus, she couldn't say Jesus. Because when she wants to say Jesus, she'll say something else and her tongue will twist. You know, she didn't know she was possessed. So she insisted that she must succeed in saying Jesus, even though it was painful and she was crying. And... Then she succeeded in saying Jesus. That's how the demon, black entity, came out of her spirit she said Jesus Jesus till she slept off that day I woke up saying Jesus Jesus and that's how she ended up in church the next day evening and she gave her life to Christ and never turned back since then 